okay so uh, uh, how we can make a connection if we do a, a computer simulation how can we make a connection of the simulation results how do we trust the simulation results um, and and this is the link what um, uh, what a uh, yeah, computer simulator simulator uh, uh, max uh, with the, with the experimental uh, data so let's say we have a real system here so this real system could be a biological system or it could be a liquid um, system um, or anything of your interest so you start from this real system and starting from this real system you make a model this is very important you make a model you make a basically uh, you make a model to obtain a model system so what do you mean by making a model so as i said that uh, you make a model of water by uh, by describing that it has hydrogen oxygen hydrogen um, it has ho bond it has oh bond it has a hoh angle um, and it has partial negative charge on oxygen and partial positive charge on the two hydrogens. So you make the model and that's your model system. Once you have the model system, you can perform computer simulation on your model system. Once you perform the computer simulation, you get the results. So those are the results you obtain from computer simulation for the model system you have made. On the other hand, from real system, you perform experiment and you get the experimental results. So experimental results are the, uh, the accurate results what you get from experiments. And in this side, you got the results from your model system by carrying out a computer simulation. Now what you do, you basically, uh, uh, okay, now, now you apply statistical mechanical theories uh, from your computer simulation data and using the statistical and mechanical theories you get you um, generate the same thermodynamic quantity for which you have the experimental data now you compare your, your experimental data with the uh, data you obtain from computer simulation and statistical mechanical theories and if they compare very well then you can say with confidence that my model uh, system was very good if your results do not match then you need to go back here and remake your model so then your model was not good and so your model uh, needs to be remade so you remake your model make a new model system perform computer simulation get the data apply statistical and mechanical theories uh, to obtain uh, the experimentally known thermodynamic quantities match them and now if the if they compare very well so you know that your model system is pretty good so so that is how you basically um, make sure that your computer simulation method uh, was uh, robust so once you get a good match uh, of uh, of the quantities for for which experimental data uh, are available so you know that my my simulation protocol and my models are good so once you get that uh, confidence that my uh, that my computer simulation was good so you can further go uh, deep inside and obtain uh, more information uh, of the system which where other is difficult to obtain experimentally uh, in other words what i try to say is that first you match uh, your uh, simulation data with available experimental with available experimental properties um, uh, available experimental properties once you see that uh, they are matching pretty well so in the next step you can uh, attempt 
you can attempt to provide more insights On the, on the complex systems for which uh, on the complex system or phenomena which were difficult to obtain experimentally. So, that is the robustness of uh, complex simulation technique. So, in, in complex simulation technique to some extent also make a bridge between the experiment and uh, theory uh, in a sense that once you make the model and you see that your model is doing pretty good uh, by matching with the experimental data, you can also construct approximate theories on the model system. And from there you get the theoretical predictions and if you now compare your theoretical predictions with the exact result from computer simulation, so that is a test of theory. So, uh, it is said that uh, in a sense computer simulation makes a bridge between the experiment and the uh, theory.